guys, what's up? It's your boy, Lane. It is day three now. We did about probably three-fourths of a mile around the track and some little uh, exploration as well. Day four of training, I guess. Let's go ahead and get out there. We'll probably do a few laps today. We are heading up to the school, just about there. Looks like another kind of event is going on. Maybe soccer this time? We'll just have to find out. There are a few sporting activities going on. We've got some baseball players and some people back there on the track. There's also some softball it looks like going on over here. So there in the distance, we see some people stretching. And, you know, you might think that that's a good plan. And it's not necessarily a bad plan, but here's the thing. There's no actual evidence that says that stretching is better for athletic performance or uh, helping muscle recovery or muscle soreness. It's just something that we've all kind of been led to believe. Uh, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with stretching and it does improve your flexibility, definitely. And being flexible can certainly help in various situations. So don't stop stretching, but don't think that stretching is gonna solve all your problems either. Fun fact, when I was in high school, I did a little bit of track, um, a little bit of cross country, but bad at it. Um, <laughs> a little bit of running, bad at it. Uh, and a little bit of shot put, spear tossing, and pole vaulting. First little bit of uh, conflict. <laughs> We were told that we can't really be on the track while the track people are using the track, which I mean is fair. I'm not, <laughs> I don't think that's a, too much of an issue, um, especially with like filming, but you know, we just gotta kind of do things, right? And see how it goes. That's the only way we'll, we'll figure out what's what. Uh, but had a nice little talk with the guy, totally friendly. Uh, and we decided to just go ahead and head on out. That was our fourth lap anyways, so we did end up getting uh, a full mile out. So, not a problem there. The only thing is, uh, in the future, uh, we'll have to see kind of what their schedule is and either work around it or figure something out. So, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Today is day five. Right now I'm just doing a little errand, picking up some stuff from the store, uh, but it's morning time, so I might as well say hello. Let's get this show on the road. We are on the hunt for some caffeine pills. Should be something in the energy section. Soylent, delicious. But not what we're looking for today. All right, so sounds like they were out there. I guess we're gonna go try and hit up a uh, gas station or something. The quest for caffeine continues. All right, so we've made it to the Rite Aid. Let's see what they got. Found it. We are heading back home. And the cashier was like, oh, I made a TikTok video yesterday. She commented on the camera gear. So I think that went pretty well. <laughs> uh, it, creating interactions between people just with stuff, it, it's great. All righty, another day. Another video. So this is actually day six. Yesterday we didn't film any video, at least for uh, the YouTube series. We were doing a big old 24 hour stream on the Twitch for our video gaming. Uh, we still did go out and walk. Uh, we did about a little over a mile yesterday. So 100% consistency still. Nothing to worry about that. And we're, looks like a great very bright day no one's on the track looks like either they were here earlier and now they're done with their their track for the day or maybe they just didn't have it at all today I don't know but times about like 4 p.m. and we should be good there are some people playing some baseball down on the baseball field right but not at all interfering with anywhere near us really I guess we can pan over them. We can see some people playing baseball. So I think today we'll do 
three laps, four laps? We'll probably do four laps. I think that's probably pretty good. Um, yeah. It's a very hot day today. It's the hottest day it's been in, like, maybe all this year. I wager something like 75 degrees. Definitely something that is a little bit uncomfortable for my taste, but we'll be fine. Not too much of an issue. So I got a call yesterday from my health provider and they said, yeah, your cortisol and testosterone levels are in fact decently low. So they referred me to a endocrinologist. Uh, so we gave them our number, or rather, we called the endocrinologist and we left him a message saying that we would like to get scheduled. Um, apparently it'll take a few days for them to receive the message and I don't know if they're gonna call us back and then figure out a time to schedule us then. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but here's hoping that it doesn't take too long. Basically, I would like to get in that as soon as possible. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Yesterday, we took, uh, I think it was 1,600 milligrams of caffeine over a, I think it was about a 10 hour period. Um, the daily recommended limit is 400. And so you might be thinking, how did we feel? And we didn't feel anything. So it's kind of just, we wanted to see if we really upped up what was going on, what kind of effects we would get from some kind of stimulant like caffeine. And our blood pressure remained the same, our heart rate was, re, re, remained the same. Uh, effects were, there was no stimulant in the mind. Uh, and there was very, very tiny physical changes. Uh, we had no tremors at any point, and basically a complete dud. Uh, so much so that after about 14 hours or something of being awake that day, we were very tired and we wanted to go to bed. And so that's in fact what we did do. <laughs> we went to bed, I got to sleep very quickly as I normally do, and um, it kind of just sucked, <laughs> right? Um, so. I, that, that, that's a pretty definitive test. I always kind of like said that it, caffeine doesn't really affect me or anything. Um, but it's very fucking true. It just doesn't. <laughs> and basically that's the, that's the same thing for all stimulants. Like I've tried a bunch of different stimulants at this point um, or weakness aids or anything like that. And they've all been very, very ineffective. And that's a bit what is also causing us issues in our daily life. So trying to figure out how that's going to get resolved. And speaking of memory issues, um, that's another thing that this uh, channel is kind of about. Like, not only is it like making good content, creating and all that good stuff, and hopefully other people enjoy and can uh, relate a little bit, right? We're trying to improve other people's lives, give them enjoyment, give them a sense of community, etc. Um, but I don't remember a lot of things. <laughs> and so like this is a good way to document things that are happening in my life so that I can go back and look on them and be like, ah yes, this is actually a thing that happened because I am I'm talking about it, right? And I am documenting it. So there's gonna be at least some amount of that in these vlogs. Um, I don't know how well that will like translate to be good entertainment or content for you guys. Hopefully you find it enjoyable and hopefully it's relatable. Uh, but that's just gonna be kind of like probably a thing going forward that's always gonna have at least a little bit of connection into these videos is like 
yes, I'm doing it for you guys, doing it for the content, doing it for the creation, the creativity and all that good stuff. But also there's the little part of like, I need to remember things and sometimes I need to video document it to actually be able to do so. Another thing that will be coming up in the near future for us is we're gonna be getting our COVID vaccines sometime very shortly. Um, so apparently, while it's not technically our time to be able to do it, well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know the exact guidelines, but apparently we meet them because of our weight. When I say we, I mean me and my partner, Kelsey. Um, so I just need to make that happen, make the appointment, et cetera, et cetera, find out where and when we can get these vaccines, but it's, it's great, it's, it's happening, it's like soon. Uh, and hopefully we can actually go out and do things together with friends again, <laughs> be social. I would definitely, am looking forward to being able to play board games again and uh, LARPing and just being able to be near people. That'll be pretty nice. Games like softball and baseball are weird because a large portion of your time, you're doing nothing. You're waiting for when you need to take action. Whereas like, we'll just compare football or soccer. Like you're always trying to be in a better position. You can always be moving. You can always be improving how your team is doing something like, you're always thinking, you're always playing the game. But like, baseball and softball, if, especially if like you're in an outfield, you, you, you see your pitcher pitch the ball, the hitter hits the ball, and then like, you either do nothing or you act then. And like, there's just a lot of not acting and not always playing the game. <laughs> and I don't know, I just, I just thought about that and I thought it was a little bit weird, so I figured I'd share. So here's the question for the comments down below. Do you guys have trouble, like, is it difficult to think? Like, this is something that happens to me fairly often. Like, whenever I'm thinking of something, sometimes, like, I just won't be able to think because it is, it is like, physically difficult to do the process of thinking. Is that something that affects other people? Or, I don't know, you tell me. All right, down in the comments, let me know. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Lane coming at you from the baseball field. It's about um, 9.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, we are in the last day of our first week of training. Uh, everything's going pretty good. Uh, we're just kind of wrapping up this video here. Uh, we're going to probably be going forward from here with uh, either probably like a weekly update on what our kind of exercise bods are going through uh, and then we're also going to be doing some other intermixed kind of more event kind of videos so I hope that's going to work out good here's to another great week in the in the next future they're coming up here and um, we're just going to knock this thing down one by one week by one week and I, and I hope you guys enjoy the, the, the journey and um, yeah so I'll see you guys next week